Hello everyone, and Shabby El Shake is back for some more Newcastle United career mode. Right, we are into September now, which is going to be a pretty tricky-ish month. Um, hopefully we can pick up our first victory in this episode. It's been a pretty rough start to the season so far, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we've got Manchester United away, Leeds at home, Watford away in this video, plus probably a Carabao Cup game, I would imagine. I'm going to guess anyway. So let's start moving forward, see how we get on. Um, I don't know what we want to really have a look at at the moment. We, we probably... I don't know if I want to buy many more other players or start to develop our own younger stars. We do have a really good young striker in the academy who could become very useful in the future. So maybe that's something we could have a look at, maybe bring him through and give him some first-team football to. I mean, what was our actual targets for the year? Okay. We've already completed our youth development. Um, brand exposure, we've done half of that. We need to get 10 wins, which should be okay. Uh, Mid-table finish and reach the last 16 of the FA Cup should be okay. Uh, finish the season, but we're not doing that at all. Because we've spent so much money, we are not completing that one. Uh, when it comes to Academy then, we've got this one striker called Carter Rowe, who's currently 65 rated with an 84 to 94 potential. 65 rated, that is. Uh, and obviously he is uh, moving up quite quickly. We've got 95. Of the, the, the board absolutely love us as a manager, even though we're yet to pick up a, a league victory. 14th in the league, two draws and a loss out of our first three games of the season. And here comes that Manchester United game then. We'll, um... Oh, who's injured? Who's out for this one? Um, oh, it's Harry Kane. What's wrong with Kane? Is he injured? Harry Kane's injured. Okay, Raspadori is going to play as a striker then. He's not um, not the best player, to be honest, but should do the trick. Apart from that, we'll stick with... Well, we'll bring on... We'll have Willock on the bench, just in case. So, without Harry Kane, is not going to be an easy game. Raspadori gets his first start for the club. Raspadori does have a pretty good potential of 86, 87, 88, something like that. So he is going to be good in the future. It's just not the player we were hoping to play at this point in time. I still haven't done the squad numbers. I keep saying I'm going to do it. I keep forgetting. The main United team, though. Um, Ban Sebiani? Who the hell is that? Okay. Apart from that, the, the, it's looking strong, isn't it? I mean, that front four, Rashford, Sancho, Fernandez, Ronaldo... Which is what I expect their front four to be in the future. Good ball forward, finding Raspadori. Cuts it back, come on. I mean, I would take another draw here. I know um, we've had a few draws so far, but um, this away at Old Trafford, I think I would definitely take a draw here, and then we need to try and win the Leeds and Watford games. Because I would like to get Europe this year. I mean, even if it's just Europa League, I would like to try and pull that off this year. Or even the Europa Conference. If we can get the Europa Conference League, we'll be able to win that, I reckon. Right, moving it forward. Come on. There's Gravenberch losing the ball. Here's a Yaza ball. That's a great ball forward. Great ball forward. Yeah, we might look at another talisman signing. I'm not quite sure if St. Maximin is going to be good enough for us long term. We'll keep him in and around the squad. Uh, but I feel like maybe a better left midfielder might be a good option. Just trying to think who might be available. I mean, Rodrigo from Real Madrid. Considering they're struggling for money, could be an option. I believe in real life they're considering Icardi. Isn't it? Who's the um? Oh, who's the Juventus one? Is it? Is it... Chiesa? Chiesa could be a shout. Raspadori, come on. We're getting a bit of um, football here. We're bringing it forward. That's half time. We're not doing too badly. We're not doing as well um, possession wise. But we're still very much in this. Like I said, I would take a draw. I would definitely take a draw. Uh, see if we can hold on to this. Uh, lost. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. We got the ball back. Might make a change, I think, because St. Maximin's not really offering us much at the moment. 
Um, so can we bring on Giovanni Reina in that position? We can. And then Tonali for Bellingham. Let's just switch things around a little bit. Freshen the legs. Come on. Oh, we were doing so well. 1-0 down. Come on. Right, Reina and Tonali are on the pitch. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. That was a big opportunity. Disappointed that. That was a huge opportunity. Right, here we go. Bring it forward. Lovely. Oh, we're in the box. Oh. We are definitely having opportunities. We're coming forward. We're just not getting that, that big shot off. I'm thinking maybe a double signing in January. Maybe um, Dean Henderson and Chiesa as a double signing in January to boost our squad. Give us that push towards the end of the season. I'll have to have a look see if Chiesa is the best option. There might be other players out there that might be... Uh, let me have a quick look now while we're playing this game. Let me grab on the old Sofifa. Let's have a look at... Because maybe we don't want to really go too heavy on potential. Maybe we just want to go on someone who's really good now. Um, position left wing. Um, overall ability at least 80 with a potential of at least 85. Let's do that. Okay. So Mbappe is an option, apparently. Phil Foden. Yeah, Chiesa. Oh, Chiesa is actually a very good option. I think Chiesa might be the... Oh, he's on loan, though. We can't sign him. Okay. Well, we lost 1-0 in this game, which is disappointing. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, there's a few players we can have a look at. But, yeah, Chiesa is not going to be the one. Um, yes, yeah, so we lost 1-0. That's a shame. Um, but I... I <laughs> I wouldn't say I knew it was going to happen, because that's a bit stupid, but I think it was it was foreseeable, wasn't it? Um, so let's have a quick look at some options then we could bring in. I mean, there is Richarlison for a bit of um, Premiership experience. Uh, can play striker as well as left wing. Let's throw him in. He's got a value of 40 million. Um, there is uh, Vinicius, who of course has got very, very high potential. Vinicius Jr. as a left winger as well. Let's get him scouted up. Um, yeah, Chiesa would be one that I would be very interested in, but he is on loan, I'm assuming, for the whole season. Yeah, so he's not going to be available till next summer by the looks of it. Um, anyone else who sort of... Um, Shouts out at me. Uh, there's Pulisic. Kingsley Coman. I don't really want Di Maria, do we? Um, Leon Bailey, Marco Asensio, Insigne, Grealish, Griezmann. Who's on loan anyway. Aubameyang. Eden Hazard was one we've already looked at. So there isn't many options, really. I feel like Vinicius is probably the best potential one. And there's also... Uh, there's Diaby. 88 potential. There's Sterling. I mean, would Sterling be an opportunity? I mean, in real life, he's not really getting as much football as he would desire. So, um, Sterling would be an option as a big signing in January. Okay, let's have a quick look then at what we do have in our list. So, we've got Hazard. Um, Henderson's there. Van der Beek as well. Anthony Martial can play left mid as well. Uh, Hudson Adoy. Uh, um, Klozek. Bastoni. Vinicius, we don't know enough about him yet. Chiesa, we can't sign. Sterling. That's a lot of money for Sterling, isn't it? I feel like Vinicius might be the option I want to go for. Um, for now, I think. But we'll wait until January and see how it goes. I mean, Vinicius is the FIFA way forward. I think Sterling might be a bit more realistic, to be honest. Monica made an offer for Woodman. We'll accept that. 
let him go out in January. Um, let's get the training underway. Right, so Leeds United. This is a game that is a. Uh, it's a game that is winnable. Oh, Harry Kane is still out injured. Okay. Which means uh, Raspadori, you're getting a lot more football than you were expecting this year, aren't you? Um, nobody else can play striker, can they? No. Say Maximan can play striker. Well, that might be a better option than actually. He's, he's a minus two in that position, though. Mm, okay, he's a minus two in that position. But let's let's let him let's let him start the game. Uh, we'll quick sim this bad boy. And we lost 3-0. Oh my god. This t What have I built here? I'm supposed to be building a super team. And it's just gone absolutely tits up at every single direction. Okay. We've got Brighton in the third round. Transfer offer. No. We don't want a swap deal. Um... All right, how long is Kane out injured for? Come on, Hazza. Um, five weeks with a dislocated shoulder. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Um, Woodman's been sold again. We're gonna have to go into this one with. Raspadori up front. Let's go with Reina in place of Saint Maximan. And then we'll bring Tonali in place of Bellingham for this one. Quick sim. Come on, at least let us win this. Yes, okay. Carabao Cup's doing as well. Goals for Tonali, Cherky, and a goal for a Yazabal. Okay. Well at least was doing well in the EFL Cup. It's just the league we're struggling with. But this is a this is a big game. Watford then. Watford in the league. This has got to be our first. Pro We're in the relegation zone for God's sake. I spent. Oh, I don't know how I'm. I don't know how the managerial confidence rating is so high, considering that I spent like eight hundred million and we're in the relegation zone. But there we go. Away at Watford. Watford are fourth in the league. Right. So we're gonna have to go with Raspadori up front. Um. Let's drop Graven Birch. Let's drop Graven Birch and bring in Rayner as the attacking midfielder for this one. Okay. This episode's not been too long so far, so let's watch this one. Come on, this has got to be our first win of the bloody season. Come on. Get in, Raspadori. First goal for the club. Oh, my God. Okay, two minutes in and we're 1-0 up. Good old Raspadori. Raspadori, where shower time is fun, Raspadori. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Come on. He's only 74 rated as well, Raspadori, so that's a big goal for him. Oh, great shot there by St. Maximum. Keeper saves, though. Uh, I mean, we we could actually sign. We don't actually have to go for a, a left winger. We could go for a right winger, in fairness, because Oyarzabal, um can play. He's actually preferred at the left, so we could actually sign a right winger rather than a left winger. Thinking about it. And the right winger options are... Are they much better? Not really. Oh, there is... Kuluzevsky. And there's Anthony from Ajax, is one that we already have on our list. Um, Pedro Goncalves from Sporting. Young Portuguese winger is a good option as well. Uh, let me drop the overall rating down a little bit to maybe 75. So there's anyone else there? Not really. Is Rodrigo. Real Madrid that we already know about. Jeremy Doku is not bad. Hudson Adoy, he's actually got an 87 potential. I didn't realise that. Okay. So there are a few options. There are a few options. Uh, come on, we, we need to get this win though against Watford. 
We're desperate. We get this first win, I think the floodgates will open. Granted, Harry Kane's going to be out for another full episode. So we need Raspadori to grow. Already scored his first goal for the club in the league. Going to be getting a lot more first team football than he ever expected. Now, I don't know if I just wait until the summer and get Chiesa, to be honest, because Chiesa looks to be an absolute superstar. So maybe I can just wait until the summer and get Chiesa. Saying that I could just... Um, go on. Oof. I could just drop St. Maximin and just play Rainer more, I suppose, as well. Okay, okay, it's good. Well, Yazabal is not playing fantastically, but I don't really want to drop him, to be honest. Um, can you come on at right back? Mm, you're not happy at right back at all, are you? Okay. Let's bring on Graven Birch for Rice. And let's bring on Cherky for St. Maximum. Just trying to freshen the legs up a little bit. Go on. Oh, that had to be in. That was Giovanni Reina, who's having a cracking game, actually, at attacking midfield. Might have to keep him in there, actually. Come on. Oh, come on. Yes, okay. Break free. Nice. Nice. Oh, it's in the back of the net. It's Giovanni Reina. Oh my god. Oh, I feel so much better now. I feel so much better now. Right, we can make another change. Let's bring on Timber for Torres. Let's just bring on one of those two centre backs that have not played no game time so far. Right, I mean, if we can get one more, I'd be a happy man. Yeah, so Giovanni Reina, he's proved to me that he should be starting more games, to be honest. I'll take it off and take... Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Get it out. Okay, Timber's on as well now. Do a bit of defensive work, Timber. Well done. It was a good idea, a good idea, but Ayazbo just wasn't quick enough to be get there. I think this is going to be enough. Of course it is. We're going to get our first win of the season. Finally. Oh, thank God for that. I was starting to get really worried about this. Come on, let's keep a clean sheet as well. That's what we like to see. Clean sheet, 2-0 away win against Watford. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's what I wanted to see. Right, okay. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Right, um, scouted players. Oh, one of the youngsters has gone somewhere else, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, let's continue our I do. I need to do some of these trainings, don't I? I'll tell you what, we're going to leave it there then because uh, I'm going to do the training on the Wednesday just to try and get those up a little bit. Um, you don't need to see me mess around doing that anyway. I'm also going to, while I'm off camera, I'm going to sort out the squad numbers and I'm also going to sort out, I've just remembered that I haven't actually done um, everyone's development plans yet. So I'm going to sort out their development plans as well to hopefully increase them as quick as I possibly can and uh, yeah, make more effective players out of them if we can as well. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Of course, if you have, hit the like, the subscribe, all the other good stuff. And I will see you again next time for our next episode of the Newcastle United career mode. Night, night. Bye-bye. God bless. Auf Wiedersehen.